Hey guys, it's Targo Cycle with FPV. There's my wife, Sam, back there. You guys saw her last night. She was building the quad, which again, I'm so pumped about. Let me show you. Sam, you guys, you, you gotta be proud of yourself, right? She's really pumped. Look, bam, bam, bam. That's right, my wife's first build right there. We did it live. It means all screw ups got caught, and there weren't any screw ups. That's the best part. All right, listen, so I'm working on something right now, uh, helping a customer out. And so I'm gonna show you guys what this is. And I'm actually gonna try this. Hopefully it all goes well. It's kind of a messy, messy day again today. I've got two builds going on right now on this desk, so let me move this out of the way. So here's what we got. We got a customer that wants to put GPS on his on his uh, brand new sector. Okay. The only problem is, is that there is not enough UARTs for this, so we're gonna have to go soft serial on this. All right. And so I figured I might as well go show you guys what we're gonna do on soft serial. The only problem is I always tend to screw up soft serial on the first go around as I try to remember how to do it. So uh, hang tight with me because I may goof this up a little bit. We'll make it work in the end, but there's a, there's a good chance that I might screw it up right at the beginning. Um, so let me go ahead here and do this first. I need to go back. Give me one second. I need to check something here real quick. Make sure I got the right wiring for the, uh, where is this here? Oh, shh. Just closed it. Damn it. There we go. Uh, so we're going to go. Uh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to go. It's TX right next to the thing. Okay, so we're going to make a soft serial. And uh, I'm going to put um, beta flight up on the screen for you guys to look at while I do this. Uh, and I just wanted to make sure that I had the right... Uh, I'm going to end up having to look again. On this BN220, I always get the wiring. I always have to look back at the wiring. So let me just pull that up. This will all put up a second. Let's just get to the point here. All right, so to work soft serial, right? We can do that for things that aren't too dependent. Uh, so let me show you what this is going to look like. Where am I going here? Sorry, I just had a lapse. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so let's do this real quick. <sighs> so we made this little mount for him. It's kind of cool, a little TPU mount that I just drew up for the guy. That's going to go on the back. That's his BN220. Uh, so we're going to come here on the board. And um, let me get some beta flight up in here on the screen and show you what we're going to be working with. Okay, so that's right there. And then let's click this. And then let's put my ugly mug. And there we go. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to log in. Let's connect. And we're going to look at our ports, right? So here's the ports that we have. And this actually should be on. And this should be IRC. Let's say save. Okay, so what we're missing right now is we're missing the UR to put the RX and TX for the uh, GPS on. Now, the audio, uh, smart audio and the GPS could both go on a soft serial if you want. So that's not an issue, right? So let's go ahead and connect again. My goal here is most likely going to be to take the smart audio and move it to a soft serial and then use the actual UART for um, UART1 for the GPS, all right? But I need to see what's possible first. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to configuration and we're going to go down here and we're going to activate soft serial and we'll click save. Okay, now let me go ahead and connect. And I don't think it's going to show up right off the bat, right? It's not. Okay, so now here's where I always get screwed up. So let me just do this real quick. And I'm going to say uh, resource. Uh, let's see if I can type here. Come on. There you go. All right. So uh, I believe... Let me make sure I got this. Yeah, so soft serial is always going to have like a one after it, I believe. I don't think it's before it. It may be after it. I don't think it's 2-1 or maybe it's 1-1. One, one. Maybe it's before. I don't know. So uh, that's where I'm going to start getting all screwed up here. So what we want to look at first is we've got this Zeus board. This is a Zeus, uh, <coughs> a Zeus AIO, okay? And I've got to get my old man goggles on now so I can see. So bear with me. And i got to change the, the um, how extreme these lenses are because that was for some, I did a, I was doing a uh, micro, I was changing a processor out, so I needed something that can zoom in more. Uh, let me go here to a, Three, maybe for my blind buddy. Here we go. And let's look at this board real quick and we'll compare it to what we see on the web. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So on this board, we're looking for perhaps maybe uh, any port that might be available. Uh, and I cannot tell if that's what that is. Uh, let me see. I'm going to have to probably look at the diagram of the board here to find any other possible options. So we've got our TX2 and our RX2 right here, but unfortunately our S bus is running on our UR2, so we're not gonna change that. We've got RX1 on this side, TX1 over here, 
That's where our smart radio is right now. So the question is, do I have any other pad? I need to see what this pad is right here. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna go um, to the, uh, go here real quick and see what I can find. Uh, we were just doing an update. Uh, let's see, what were we doing? The flywheel, all right, this is from last night's build where somebody was talking about the flywheel, yeah. Okay, so let's go here and let's go to HGHLRC. Oh my gosh, com. Okay, and let's do the. Uh, let's go to flight controllers. Let's look for our Zeus. You know what? It's probably going to be on the only one. So let's go get this crap off of here. Get this off of here. Flight controller, flight controller, let me see. All right, so we can look at this one. This one uh, might be a good guy here. So what I want to see is where is... All right, there we Yeah. That's you writing. Yeah, it's just put a picture if you want to send it to me. Who? Everything laid out. Oh, okay. You got it all? Yeah. All right. What is that? That's not what I'm interested in. Not what I'm interested in, I'm interested in this right here. I need to see this label. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in this damn thing? What is this? It says S5. I'm curious because what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at this S5 right here and I'm thinking I may be able to tap into this one right here and make that a soft cereal because I don't think there's any other open pads here even. I mean, this is like kind of kind of out of space here. Um, so let me see if I can use the S5, then I might be able to route the TX for the camera there because everything else is pretty much taken. Can't use a power pad, so that's not going to work. Uh, so it looks like that might be it. Uh, do they offer a manual here? Uh, oh, look, they have a... What? Oh, look at this. They got it right here. Holy crap, they've gone crazy. Let me see if they use S5 then. That's what I'm curious about. So they put GPS where? They put GPS here, and they put the video and the TX, they jumped it to... Oh no, that's not gonna happen. They got an RX1. Hey, that's exactly what I was gonna do. And then, did they use S5? Is the only question I have right now. What did they use here? They used VTX, and then they used 5 volt, and then the RX went to... I was right. Bam! Gotta love it. Okay, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't know what this board is because that's not the board we're working on. Um, but what we are gonna do, that's funny that they did this. So be at 1103, that's perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, now that I know S5 is that board, uh, that's interesting to see that they did that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you guys how they did it, but doing it our way, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is when you have your soft cereal, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give, we need the TX, right? So you can see right here where we have cereal, uh, uh, this is going to be Sierra TX1, so that's UR1, right? So what we want to do is we want to go and activate, uh, and we're going to go on to right here, B03, because that's where our motor 5 is. So let's do this. Let's go serial, uh, let me spell it right, serial underscore TX space 11 B03. Uh, sorry, uh, resource serial underscore TX, I don't, know, I don't know about this autofill, uh, 1, 1, space, B, uh, what did I put, O3, O3, enter. Now we're going to type save. Now when we go to ports, right, we're going to connect, let's go to ports now, and we should see, there it is right there, bam, boom, bam. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, and we're going to drop this to say IRC tramp, we're going to turn this one to say disabled, and then we're going to come over here, and we're going to say, whoops, GPS, perfect. All right, so now what we've done is we've taken that one port, and that's all it's got on this board, by the way. So I'm really glad that, you know, at least they gave you something. It's actually a Motor 5 port, uh, but we're gonna use that for our, our, our smart audio, and then we're gonna move our GPS over. So here's what we're gonna do here. So now that we're gonna log in, all right, we're gonna connect. Let's look at our ports again. Everything should be set, and it is. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the work. So let's go ahead and knock this out real quickly, hopefully knock this out. 
First thing we need to do is we're going to need to take off the. Um, I just screw off. Okay. All right. Right here is where we're taking the TX out. Okay, so let me get my glasses back on. Let's get our soldering iron ready to go. Heat up, and I'm gonna look at this here. So we're gonna be taking this wire out right here. This is gonna be it looks like this green wire will be our TX1. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to this side and we're gonna drop some solder, put it right here, okay, on the S5. So we can go ahead and tin that up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a pen going, and we'll tin that up, okay. And this should be getting ready here shortly, so we can go ahead and clean the tip of this soldering iron here. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Let's go ahead and get some solder. I have some extra laying around here. Let me do that real quick. Okay, there we go. And here we go. So we're gonna put S5 right there, and that's gonna become our new TX1. I mean, sorry, our soft serial TX uh, for the um, for the uh, uh, smart audio. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this green cable here, which is going to the which is coming from the BTX, and hopefully we're gonna have enough room here to pull it to this side. Now, come on, help me out here. Let's go. That's a very close. There we go. We got it just enough. Go in there. Bam, there it is. Okay, so we've got our smart audio now rerouted, okay, to S5, which is gonna be our soft serial. All right, and we've got plenty of slack there, so we're good on that side. Let's get the motor wires wrapped around here real quick. Now what we want to do is we're going to bring our um, our uh, GPS. The idea is to mount it this way on this mount that we designed for them, and it's going to come into here. So we're going to drop this about right here. So let's go ahead and just cut the wiring at this point. There we go. So we're going to trim this, tin this, and then um, solder it down on the board, and we'll be done. Flux pen. And let's twist this up. Hey, babe, if you're sending that out tomorrow, uh, send him the remainder of our stickers. Okay, because we got a thousand more coming in in the next week or so. Okay, so glad we're having this talk. Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and tin this up. You can send them those sheets too, since we're probably not gonna use much of those. What Those sheets of stickers. Ah, okay. Okay, so you can send them a whole bunch of those because you know, those are kind of unique to use. All right, so we're tinning this up. And now don't forget, once we tin this up, we've gotta cut the wire back some. So make sure to cut it back about halfway to, you want about two millimeters max. So make it look, you know, so you're not running these all over and accidentally hitting other pads. Cut that back. Are you laughing back there? It's me? I thought you were laughing. Oh, no. Okay. So we're going to do 5 volt here, and then I always have to look at this again. I think it is, well, I'm not even going to guess because I'm always wrong when I do this. So let me go back and check here real quick. Give me one sec because I have the diagram up on my, on my computer. That is going to be 
force wire to the TX. Okay, so we're gonna take the green wire to go to the TX on a flight controller. All right, and that TX is gonna be the one that we took off that had the smart audio. Let's go ahead and knock that out real quick. Put the cat back on here. Here we go. So I read that guy's uh, email about the arrow. Mm -hmm. um, so I really don't understand his deal, but I don't think he understands it. You know, um, if you get a chance to get a drone replaced for 50% and you're out of warranty and that's just an offer to be generous, you know, you can't get upset when you're out of warranty and that's the offer made to you. And it's a, just a kindness offer. Yeah. I just understand. It's like you, you, you know, you, you try to be kind to people and then they like get mad about it. And I'm like, look, here's the other option. You're out of warranty on your product. How about you don't get anything? I mean, my God. Well, people, that's, what he, that's, what he chose. that's what he ended up with. And I'm thinking, why would anybody get mad? I mean, like, I don't understand. You don't walk into, you, know, you don't walk into Best Buy. Hey, I'm mad. I didn't get, you know, I'm out of my warranty. And they're like, oh, you know what? You're right. Our warranty is only there for the purpose of taking up space. It really doesn't mean anything. You're right, sir. We're just going to go ahead and forget anything that our corporate told us. And, but, but they think they can do that for drones. After they fly the shit out of it into something like, oh, hey, listen, I hit a bridge. But I'm still within my warranty. No, look, you hit a bridge. The minute you hit the bridge, you're out of warranty. I mean, they, don't the, well, they don't get it. There's got to be some logic here that says, hey, um, I think people, and I think what it is, I'll be honest with you, I think what it is, I think people are, are believing they're talking to somebody in China. And that they're like, oh, well, you're in China and you're just going to do what we say. And I'm going, God darn it, if you could only know that I live really near you and that maybe your little smart mouth could use a little bit of a whooping. But we're a peaceful family. Our side, at least. God darn. People got a lot of nerve. <laughs> it's like, I haven't had good luck. Like, what are you talking about? Like, HCLRC. I haven't had good luck with them. Well, if you're saying good luck by meaning you learn how to fly properly, I don't think it's their fault that you can't fly. Take a red. Yeah, I have to move it. So all right, so we've we've done this now, guys. We're all good. We got everything moved over. Uh, everything looks clean. Uh, I don't think we have any bridges. Nope. Everything looks beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this back together, and then we'll test it when we turn it on here. So let me just uh, put these down. Come on, doggy. Come on, Cletus. Come on. You walk here, but you look in back. All right, we got that in. Get these goofy glasses off now. Let's go back to regular. So, maybe you think tomorrow will be more calm to where we can go to the gym? So are we going to just say that Mondays are just the days of hell? Might as well just be, yeah. Okay, so we don't like get our hopes up for nothing? Might as well just call it a rest day. It's a what day? A rest day. I don't remember resting at all. I haven't rested yet. I know. We I mean, I just had lunch at like 5 o'clock. Or breakfast. Yeah. That's terrible. Okay. No. Uh, hey, babe. Yeah. Point me in the direction of where I might have put... <laughs> oh, never mind. Are you still Ishii? Ishii? Ishii. Oh crap, I still gotta get that school, that quote, huh? Uh, yes, and then another person was asking for some stuff and also trying to confirm a time. Babe, hey, you told me you wanted to take control of my schedule so you could make things calm. Okay. I feel like I'm about to rip my, my ears off my face. I'm There's gonna confirm something for you at 8 p.m. just to get Eight off. tonight? Yes. It's eight o'clock. Don't I get family time? In a little, after you get this done. <laughs> All right, well, no gym for you. Tomorrow. No, you're banned. I'm going to take your gym away since you're taking my freedom away. God, take my freedom. Oh, awesome. We need to get that ticket. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? Um, I'll ask that uh, one guy. I'll ask Dad. Just to send me the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it.
Um, so I can't find any of my stuff here. And why is that? Why would that be? Because I think I took it apart at my desk. Hold on. Crap. Did I? Oh, man. I did. I did. It's all right here. So everything I was looking for is sitting on my desk in this little Cadex Tarsier holder. Look at this. Watch. Boom. Here's my lifeline right there. Forgot I put it there. All right. Let's go ahead and get this down. It's down. This wire's out of the way. I just don't want these screws falling through. I'm gonna get tired of that. Put this down. Okay. And one more. And I don't have to worry about it. Perfect. There we go. All right. Now we're gonna screw these down real quick just to get them to flush. Get the screws flush with the top of the standoff. There we go. really good that's coming out nice now we're gonna see how our standoff looks I mean how our uh, GPS mount looks and we're done so let's go ahead and mount and that sucker now I have taken two millimeters of this screw distance by putting on that TPU so let me add a longer screw did you take a picture like that yeah holy crap that's awesome I'm gonna send him that picture. And let him know the props, like, there's multiple bags. There's at least, like, between five to ten bags of each color. It looks like a big. Pack. I don't have a picture in my stuff, do I? Yeah, I texted it to you. Oh, I see. Hold on, let me go save it real quick. Okay. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff for donating. You're too generous. You listen, Linda. I'm in the spirit. Listen, Linda. I know. It's, it's the last time. Don't make the whole it's time. It's only money, babe. We'll print more of it. Holy crap. That's a big, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Boom. All the stuff we're going to be donating. Jeff, you're getting all this crap, so get ready. Let me send him this picture. Okay, so Jeff, here it is. Boom. Send. Here it is. There you go. He's going to love it. Nice job, babe. It's very kind of you. Fine. Yeah, but I'll come. All right, so let's lock this out real quick. We are just about done. Then we're going to go into beta flight and set this up. Uh, what do we have here? I mean, these are pretty long screws, but I think I'm going to have to go with them just a tad bit longer. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Here we go. I'm going to pick something like a... Uh, go with a... 12 mil. Let's try that for the back. Boom, maybe. Cool little mount we made. I think this is neat. No design, quick design. Serves the purpose, does well. Lots of stuff, it works. Let's just hope I can screw it in properly. If you guys have a sector uh, and you need this GPS mount, uh, let me know. I'll be posting it online. You guys can, I mean, the, the STL is free. Uh, and if you need me to print one for you, I'd be more than happy to. All right, so that looks good. I think everything here looks really nice. It's done well. Still get to his battery on either side. So let's go ahead and power this up. Uh, the only problem is I need to, I'm gonna disconnect the VTX because I don't want it to interrupt our signal. So let me just kind of unplug that if I can. Green wire is going to be kind of tight, so I'm hoping that I can get this off. Let me see. Come on. There we go. VTX is now disconnected. There we go. All right. So now we're going to power it up, and we'll see what happens. Okay, and we'll check it out in beta flight. So that's the best part. 
That way you guys can see if it's working. And hold me accountable. Ready and okay. So we're up and running. So let's go ahead now and plug in our USB. Let's connect. Go. Go to our configuration page. Let's go to our GPS. Turn it on. And I believe we're using U blocks. Uh, and uh, let's say, I could say auto detect here. I cannot remember. Uh, I'll just do this. What is this one? I don't know. I know we're only the first arm of you guys can use this whole point. If not, every time the quad is arm. Oh, that's fair. I like that. <coughs> okay. So let's click. Uh, I'll do auto bot rate. That's fine. Save. You got all of them done? I got everything in. Like rung in? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, let's go see our GPS now. Let's see if we're going to get anything in here. We are indoors. Uh, we do have our power is running on it. I just need to see if we've got the right selection or not. I don't know if we're going to get any signals yet. We'll find out. All right, let that run a second. I'll be right back. I want to see this real quick. DX. Box the oh, that's right. It's supposed to go out today. Oh, oh. Um, we came early. Yeah. GPS, GPS, GPS. Oh, that's right. Okay. Configuration. Go back here again and let's take that out. Uh, I think it should be fine. Connect. Go GPS. Let's see if I get anything. I'm going to move this over a bit, try to get closer to the window maybe. Don't let me forget business cards. Don't forget business cards. Like now, don't forget business cards. No, like when you hear me, like start shift, like packing tape. You want me to remember that on top of all the stuff I'm doing right now? Yes. Okay, got I it. Like when I tape, so good luck. Remember. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Um, okay, so that's not happening. So let me try this a different way. Oh, let's take this off real quick. I'll go to the tent. Oh. Oh. Get, I'm indoors, but I think we should be seeing something here very quickly. So I'm gonna give it a minute and see. I think I've configured it incorrectly, but there's always a chance, so I gotta check and make sure. And now we. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm seeing a satellite ID come in here, satellite ID here. So we're starting to see it populate a little bit. But again, like I said, we're indoors and this is pretty stuck in here. So I'm hoping that we get some soon. Let me aim it to see if I can end up the other way. But it doesn't look like it at least is getting something. So at least we have some. We just need signals right now. Oh, no, that just stopped on the tire. There we go. <coughs> All right, so we're starting to get our signals in. So it looks like we're, it's just, right now we really are delayed. We've got an overcast sky and I'm sitting inside behind closed blinds, closed windows, the whole thing. So it's going to take a little while, if any, to get a signal out here. I don't think that the configuration is wrong on this one. I believe that's actually correct. Um, I could do North American. There was an issue before um, where you had to select a different country other than North America. I'm not sure what, if that was, I guess that was taken care of, but let me see what happens here. Um, I did do an auto config initially, and I'm curious now to see if we can get anything to happen this way. Oh, well, this would be a good time to test this new thing. No. 
to a test, it doesn't work. Okay, that's not working. Let me go to configuration N. I want to see if I switch this to let's try Sorry. Japanese. You know, hey, don't forget to ship business cards. <laughs> I don't care, it's an annoying noise like it's tape. So to me, yet. here you go. Let's see the GPS will catch it. Nah, it's not gonna do it this time. Alright, let's just go back and leave it the way it was. Not worried about it. Uh, let's go here and let's just go back to auto. Set and Okay. Alright, so while that's going, I was hoping this was gonna work, but it's not. For whatever reason, it sucks right now. Uh, I don't know about these things. I just got them in these Hawkeyes, and so far I'm about to want to throw this thing out the window. But we'll see. Uh, let's see. GPS. Give it some time. Come on. Fire signal before. Put them up here. Yeah. I'm going to take that and put that here. Start to come in. All right, so come on, come on, talk to me, goose. All right, so this is going to be fine. It's getting our signals. We'll get our signal strength. It's really the wrong way to do it, is the way I'm doing it right now, where we're sitting inside. But I do need to check the VTX now, so I'm going to power this off real quickly. So I can plug this in, and I'm going to end this video here for us because this is most likely going to knock out our our wireless feed anyway. So that is how you do GPS on one of these boards when you don't have any more UARTs. I hope that helps for you guys. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up for me, so I will end it here. So listen, uh, we got some more stuff coming up. Don't forget we got a live build tonight as well. Don't forget to remind the wife of that. And um, that's it, guys. Please follow us on Facebook, and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. That would mean the most to me. And other than that, God bless. Be safe and spend time with your family, folks. Never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. Always fly later. Talk to you soon. Peace.